Oh, what's the matter, little girl? Her sad. It's Misty, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to White River Antiques and see what I can find. Hopefully, looking for things that are on sale in the booths and kind of looking for some Christmas things even though I know I have lots of Christmas things but sometimes at this time of the year things can be marked down so I'm gonna go ahead and see what I can find today at the antique mall. So today I am at White River Antiques Arts and Antiques and going to go in and see what kind of goodies that we can find in here today so let's go We've got Pinocchio and Dopey. Wait, 50% off of everything over here. Old phone. Let's go check over here. 50% off everything in this little area. But it's cold outside. Uh, let's see. Everything, but not the chainsaws. Chainsaws are not included. So let's check out some of the prices on this. $4.79. A hot cocoa bank. Why'd they have to go and put tape on it though? That's not good. Oh my goodness, it's cold. Oh, what's the matter, little girl? Her sad. Okay, I'm not seeing anything that I have to have, and I don't need a chainsaw, but that's not on sale anyway. Now I'm gonna go inside because it's cold there. Okay. So the nice thing about this place is that you can get some fresh brewed root beer. And that's always a that's always a good thing. So 50% off over here. So let's see. If you can find anything that's on 50% off. I like these nut and cheese graters. $14.99. I have a, a, I used to have a collection of these and I sold them. That's what I do. I collect things for a little while and then we sell it when we're ready to move on to other things. You go in here? That's a cute little dresser. Let's see. $2.65. It's about right. That's what I'd put on it. This is cute too. Some trucks. I like that. I'm looking for a piece of furniture for my house. We got Loretta Lynn and Conway Twitty. That's a great album to have. I love you more today, Conway Twitty. It's so hard for me to find to buy records because I, I find them at yard sales and thrift stores. Are so cheap. Spending $9.99 on an album just isn't in my uh, vocabulary. So this place has a lot of new and old things so it's a really nice variety of different things. That would be a cute cabinet for display. It's a new cabinet but it would still be neat. Please come Someone wrote on that. Because hmm. I don't think that that originally said beans. It's supposed to say tea. Someone wrote beans for some in pasta. Now I'm curious to see what they wrote on the rest of it. I didn't write on that one, but $42 for those that have been written on. Seems a little much to me. Okay. Uh -huh, little rabbit. You're a cutie. Now, I am not into glassware. I know that a lot of people are. It's just not my thing. I do like Occupy Japan pieces, but as far as the China hand-painted this glassware it does not sell for me in my shop it does not sell and it's just a very it's a niche market that I just I just I can't sell it so this stuff it just it just doesn't sell for me so 
eye. You probably will see things that I'm not pointing out because it's not what I look for. Like this, as, as lovely as it is, what do they have on it? 1850 for the set in the under tray, but I just, I just can't sell it. So you're probably going to see me pass up things that, if you like glassware, you'll think, why is she passing that up? Because I can't sell it. And I'm, it's not my style for my home, so I don't buy it. However, this wooden Garfield is more, more up to my speed. It's two dollars. I like him. Go a different way than the Okay, because he wants me to bring you to the airport. Uh, let's see. Now here, these little things are sweet. These are Avon, little Avon bottles. I mean, they're not, they aren't worth anything, but I kind of like this one just because it's a gingerbread boy. But it's $7, so. Let's see. There's a rooster for $2. And there's a hamburger for Now that one's kind of a neat one. For six dollars, so he's a fine little rooster for two dollars. I could resell him in my shop, but I, I'm being very picky. Let's see. Oh, what's going on there? You're upside down, fella. Let's let's put you right side up on your crow. I don't know if there's any way we can fix you, but all right. So I'm not saying anything over here. And why I decided, oh, there's nutcrackers, to bring my purse up. It's beyond me. Oh, I like the nutcrackers, but you know me, I like them broken. And they're all intact. Let's see what's in here. It's a little Victorian-esque area, which isn't my style either. Well, it's very pretty. Oh, there's some kitty cats for $35. Boy, that's an... Not that bad of a price. That frame is pretty. Uh, really, the artwork in here, this is $29. The artwork is not priced bad, I have to say. I like the lithograph cake pan. $6 for that. It's a little faded, but I kind of like it. I like this bike basket. Little Miss Muffet. I have one of these in my house. Twenty dollars isn't a bad price, honestly. I'm thinking this little kitchen set is adorable. So is that. So is that ironing board. That's adorable. What's in here? We're gonna go into the man cave. Are women allowed in the man cave? Yeah. There's no alarms going off, so I'm allowed in the man cave. Oh, hello, Mr. Wa oh, no, you're Mr. Hancock. I thought you were George Washington. I was wrong. These guys, what are these? There's Betsy Ross. $30. They are, I don't know who are, who are you? You are American porcelain. Okay. Well... They have painted beer jugs and made them into lamps. And they painted that milk can. What? I mean, I'm not hating on the cubbies at all, but that ain't right. Oh. Well, they paint everything. They painted the oil can. And they, I mean, that's kind of neat. But, but they painted that picnic basket. Okay, I'm leaving. I'm leaving this room. They painted all that stuff. See, I need to be kind. I'm hating on painted stuff, but I don't like to see it painted. I mean, like, I mean, this kind of breaks my heart a little bit too, because I do like lithograph, but I mean, that's kind of cool. I still, I still would prefer it not painted. Oh, this is cute. Ten dollars? What? Why are you only ten dollars? Oh, let's see. It says, let's see what it says. Um unmarked small chip on the inside of the deer oh there it is not noticeable mm, that's kind of noticeable i think i might have
stuff to get this for $10. I like it. I like you, dear. You're coming home with me. I'm going to keep you. I'm not going to resell you, little dear. You're awfully cold. It's cold in this room. All right. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, no, no milk glass. This is kind of nice how they have little descriptions on things. That's kind of nice. I like that. And all this sawtooth glass. There's some Westmoreland glass. So, I mean, that's nice. Good job. Those are leprechauns. These are little leprechauns. How much do they want for the leprechauns? Six dollars. Here's a little, um, Ashley, here's a little turkey. Nineteen dollars. I think it's a turkey. Oh. I like these little guys. Oh my gosh, she's talking so loud. There's some three piece nesting bowls that's missing the fourth bowl. I want seventy dollars for it. That's all much. Now this is one of my favorite spots to look at when I come here because there's all kinds of little just little tchotchkes everywhere which is what I like. So, but I think I've said this before when I've been here in my videos. This stuff's never on sale. I'm going to put my deer down there. This stuff's never on sale. And that's why it's always here. Because it's never on sale. I mean, it's all for sale, but it's never on sale. Like this little, this is a little Shawnee pig planter. It's $5. It's in very rough shape. Um, what else do we have? This is different. Oh, I have had this little bird. Nine fifty. It is McCoy. It's very cute. This is made in Japan quail. Pheasant, I'm sorry. It's eight fifty. It's from Watsall, Kentucky. The little souvenir piece. Oh my, what's going on with you? I kind of like you because you're so creepy. Look at him. He's kind of frightening. He's $15, but... Oh, what's this? It's missing. It's... Okay, here's another word that my dad uses often. This little deer crossing light, little oil lamp. It's missing. It's chimney. I know that's a chimney, but he calls them chimneys. Oh, it's missing it for eight fifty. This booth is always that's why the, she always has stuff over here because it's all marked really high. But I like coming in here and looking at it. But yeah, like this little guy, he's cute. He's a little made in Japan, little sitting gnome. Ten dollars. Oh, he's made in Germany. Yeah, he's made in Germany, but he's $10. He's, I think he had a pipe that was supposed to go there, and he's missing that. So $10 was a little much. Oh, I got the matching one to this. It's $10. I love this stuff. I don't like clowns, but I like made in Japan clowns are a little more friendly looking. Okay, so I'm in a little area that has a, quite a few little things that I really kind of like. So I checked on the little rubber squeakers. And this one's also a Sun Rubber Company is the name of the company. This one is pretty rare. So the little turtle can sell for about $30, $35. They have a $14. So I am going to be able to double my money on him. And I think I'm going to go ahead and get the poodle too since it's also Sun Rubber products and I can do a, a lot so I'll lot them together and the poodle is $13 so I think I'm going to go ahead and get it. Okay so now we're in the haul part of this video and while I didn't get a lot of things at the antique mall I did get some pretty cool things and I spent about $45 on everything that I'm about to show you. Most of it I bought to resell but I did buy a few little things for myself 
and let's go ahead and get started. Now, several, and as you saw in the video, several of the booths had uh, like 50 and 60% off of their Christmas items. So one of the things that I got for 65% off was this Christmas tablecloth. It's an oval tablecloth, but it just has these poinsettias on it and picked it up for about $3.50. And I sell those in my store for about $10 to $12. So there's a profit to be made there on that tablecloth. Now I probably will sit it back and hold it for next year, but I'll go ahead and get it cleaned up and I'll pack it away with the things that I'm going to pack up when Christmas is over. So there's that. I did also get these books. Now these books were not on sale, but I got them for myself. And so I was okay with spending $3.99 for this book. They are little golden books, The Night Before Christmas. This is something that is a new collection of mine that I've been keeping. And I think it's, I'm getting to the age where it's like, I think when I have grandchildren one day, I want to, you know, introduce them to the wonderful world of vintage illustrations by reading them these books. So I got The Night Before Christmas and then these are the same but different and I haven't looked through them. They're probably just different copyright years. Um, they are both Santa's Toy Workshop. One is and it has a white background and one has a blue background and this one was $1.99 and this one was $2.99. I don't know why one is was more than the other but again, and I haven't looked through them to see if their pictures are exactly the same, but I mean, look at the vintage graphics on there. Love these. So those I got for myself. And then I did pick up this little guy. He was also 65% off. So I want to say that I paid $3 for him. It's just this cute little planter. He, you can tell he was marked Japan on the bottom. Now he didn't come with this little green poof. It's something that I had in my treasure trove of the items. So I just kind of stuck that in there. I think it looks really cute. So he will go into my Santa collection. So I'm keeping him as well. So those were all of the Christmas items that I bought. Now I did buy some, a useful thing that I'm going to keep. And that is this ice cream scoop. Now, if you've never used one of these ice cream scoops, you're missing out because this is honestly one of the best ice cream scoops you could ever use. And it's made, who was it made by? Um, Progress USA. I love the jadeite color handle on it. It's just a great ice cream scoop. When you're serving ice cream that is not, not been laid out to fall a little bit, like if you're making punch, these ice cream scoops are amazing. So I'm keeping this and I will use it. And I want to say it was also 65% off. So I paid $1.50 for this. You can't buy a new ice cream scoop for $1.50. And one that is an awesome ice cream scoop like this one is. So I'm keeping that. I also picked up some tins. All of these tins were also 65% off. So I want to pay, I paid, I want to say that I paid about $1.25 per tin. And I sell these in the shop. People like to buy these to add into like their Hoosier cabinets or um, sometimes people will use them to do crafting things with. So I typically sell these anywhere between six and $12. Some of them are more rare. If they have a paper label, they're more rare. These are all 10. Sometimes the graphic on them makes them worth a little bit more. These are just kind of your everyday run of the mill tins. This one is Durkee Cinnamon. Uh, and these are vintage. There's no barcode readout on any of these. Um, that's kind of one of the telltale signs. Most everything has a UPC barcode on it. So that's one of the ways that you can tell something is vintage. So there's this one. And I got two. Oh, actually, I got three. These are all from Schilling products. Uh, this one's curry powder. This one is, oh, this says it's made in San Francisco, California. And then we have ginger and then we have cream of tartar. So those are all, these were all about a dollar. I think they were $1.25 a piece. They were 65% off. Then um, I also picked up these squeaker toys. Now I did include my thought process in the video about buying these guys. And I am, I'm taking the risk 
This one is kind of, it's made by Sun Rubber. They're both made by the Sun Rubber Company, which is an American-made company. They are vintage from the 1960s. Uh, this one is uh, a little sun, has sun on it, which is the Sun Rubber Company. This one is a more common one. It's the cutest one, I think, this little poodle. <coughs> little, and the squeaker does still work. Um, this one, I paid $9 for this one, and that's about what they sell for on eBay by themselves. This one, however, is a little bit more rare. And he, I paid $12 for him. I believe that's what I paid for them. You'll see, you've seen it in the video. But um, he he sells for about $25 or so on eBay. So there is money to make with him. And my thought process is that I'm going to lot these together and sell them as a pair. So I should be able to get about $35 for the two of these. And so I'm doubling my money. So that's always good. And I will sell these on eBay. Then my, the last two things I'm going to show you are my two favorite things. I'll show you this first because this one's, they both, I love them both equally, but the, the last thing I'm going to show you, I probably love the most of everything that I bought you. I was just walking by and I saw her face. So she is a double-sided salt and pepper shaker. So you can see here, she's happy. She's getting married. She's got her whole life ahead of her looking just so angelic on her, on her wedding day. Then she has children and ah, that's what happens sometimes. But look at her haunting face. I love her. And look at the baby. The baby looks a little frightened as well. So this is a double-sided salt and pepper shaker. It is made by Inesco. It has its cork. It's on, this is probably worth about $15 or so. I'm keeping it. I just think that it's just hilarious. I love it. So I'm going to keep it for a little while. I may decide to sell it later on, but for now, I'm keeping it. So my favorite thing that I found, and this was in the video as well, is this deer planter. Now, upon research on this, this, and actually a, um, one of my Instagram followers um, followed up with me because she really loved this and she did some research for me. So thank you for that. She has discovered that this is Royal Copley. I thought it might be Shawnee. Um, I knew that it wasn't McCoy, um, but it is a Royal Copley planter. Now there is an issue with this. You can see he has, or she, cause it is a fawn. She has a, crack or a chip coming out of her ear. I didn't care because I can display her this way if I wanted to. I love this. I, this is something else I'm going to keep for a little while. I had this little teal looking brush tree in my stash and I stuck it in there and look, look at that. It, the coloring is perfect together. So this is something that I'm going to keep a little bit. And the nice thing about this is I can leave it out all winter long. It doesn't necessarily have to be a Christmas related item, but I love this. And if she did not have the chip in her ear, she would sell for about $25 or so. The chip in her ear does affect her value, but it doesn't to me because I like broken things and I, I, I love this. So this was my find of the day. So I hope that you like this little antique with me video. I am planning on doing a lot more of these. There is an antique mall up in Bloomington that I'm going to go to. Hopefully, well, probably won't be till after the holidays, but I am going to check out that and do some filming in there. And this was a lot of fun. Now you can still find things to resell at antique malls or antique shops. Trust me, I know. I own an antique store and sometimes I get sick of seeing things and I wanna move it out, out of the way so I can make room for some other things that I've just bought. So there are times that you can go into antique malls or antique shops and you can find things for resale because people just need to move things out of the way and they need to make room for their other stuff so they're wanting to get rid of it to at least, at least recoup their money. So don't discount going and sourcing at antique malls and antique booths for resale. And if you're like me, when you're there sourcing things for resale, you're going to find things that you like for your own collections as well. So it's all fun and a good day. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you do, make sure that you please give it a thumbs up. 
make sure that if you that if you haven't already that you are subscribed to my channel hit the bell notification and you'll be notified every time i upload a new video make sure too that you follow me on instagram my all my information is down in the description of this video and i will see you guys all in my next video bye